Hello, everyone. In this lecture, we talk about situation when circles and triangles appear together. There are several cases we often see. First, it's a right triangle. Actually, it's a 45 degree right triangle with a one fourth circle. So, for example, the radius is one. So, the area of one fourth circle is pi over four, and the area of triangle is one half. And usually they will ask you what's the shaded area. So it's pi over 4 minus half. Second case, it's a 1 6 circle. 1 6 circle. And the minus the area of this equilateral. So the equilateral we have learned previously, the area is root 3 over 4. It's like you can do a height, and the area is root 3 over 4. So the shaded region pi over 6 minus root 3 over 4. The last one is a, is a one-third circle. You can see it's 120 degree. It's a one-third circle, so pi over 3 minus this area of the triangle is also root 3 over 4. So the shaded region is pi over 3 minus root 3 over 4. Now let's see a real question. This is from 2020 10b, problem 14. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's take a look. The question is, what's the area of the shaded region? So the shaded region, we can make it back into a regular hexagon. And we know the area of a regular hexagon we discussed before, we can cut into six small pieces with equilateral. So it's going to be six times each equilateral is root 3 over 4. Secondly, we can minus the arch area. So this arch is actually, we take this out, it's a 1 6 circle minus the equilateral. So one arch is pi over 6 minus root 3 over 4. And there are 6 p's, so times 6. And finally, we use 6 times root, root 3 over 4. That's the whole hexagon. Minus 6 times pi over 4 of this. This is 6 p's of arch. And uh, if we simplify this, this will become... 12 times root 3 over 4 minus, oh sorry, this is pi over 6. So minus pi, which will become 3 root 3 minus pi. Okay, the next one comes from 2019 10a. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, this question, we already know each small circle is pi, the area is pi, and there are 13 of them, so 13 pi. So basically, we just need to know what's the radius of the large circle. So the large circle, we have 1 and uh, 1, and uh, how can we find the, this part? This part Actually, we, because they are all tangent, these two, if we connect, they are a single line we've discussed before. So basically, this is 2, 2, and uh, this is 1, and uh, this is a right triangle. So it's a 2, 1, then this will be root 3, root 3. So in the end, we find that the radius of the big circle will be 1 plus. 2 root 3. So the big circle will be pi times r square will be times 1 plus 2 root 3 square, which if we open this, this is 1 plus a square plus b square. b square is 12 plus 2ab, so 4 root 3 times pi, which is 13 plus 4 root 3 pi. And then minus 13 pi. So minus 13 pi. So the answer is 4 root 3 pi. 
The next one comes from 2019 10B problem 10. So as you can imagine, it's problem 20. It's a bit harder. Okay, let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. The shader, the shader region seems a bit weird, but we can cut it into first the semicircle, which is easy to find because A, B, B, C, this is two, and uh, the semicircle, so the radius of the semicircle. Um, so let's do this. Cut and uh, basically this is one, 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 and uh, so this is all. This is root two, and uh, this is root two. So this is gonna be two. So the semicircle first. The semicircle is pi times let's say semi is equal to pi times two square times half. Okay, and then. The, the second piece is gonna be these two pieces. So these two pieces we can basically cut them into four pieces. You can see each piece is um square minus a one-fourth circle. So it's gonna be so let's say this is part two is um square, square with each side one, so one minus a one fourth circle. So it's pi over four. And then there are four p's. So this times four. And the lastly, how can we find the last piece? The last piece it's like let's connect. And um, so this is arc. And uh, so how can we find the art is like we know the big semi the big circle is radius two, and this is one. So this is two one root three, which means this is sixty degree and the sixty degree. So it's actually a one one third circle minus a triangle. So part three is pi times two square times one third minus two triangle. The two triangle is um, one time root three divided by two times two, so it's one time root three basically. In the end, we put everything together, so this is equal to two pi, and this is four minus pi, and this is equal to four over three pi minus root three, and uh, if we put together, it will be so this become four plus pi. And the together is 7 over 3 pi plus 4 minus root 3. So 7 over 3 root 3, 4. So A, B, C, D adding together will be 17. Okay, let's see the last one. This is from 2017 10A, problem 22. So this one is also a bit harder. So let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. Let's first draw this question. So it's like an equilateral ABC. So let's say this is ABC and the uh, engine to a circle at point BC respectively. So at point B, let's do a perpendicular line and they connect at here. This is O, the center of the circle, and the circle is like this. Okay, and um, what fraction of the area of ABC lie outside the circle? The fraction of ABC, so let's assume this is one. So we know this is gonna be half. This is root three over two, three over two. So each side of uh, equilateral is actually root three. So the equilateral area we have discussed before is root three over four times root 3 square. So this will be 3 over 4 root 3. So this can be our denominator. 
and then we just need to find out shaded region outside the circle, which will be uh, so first the equilateral minus the arc region. The arc region we have discussed it's a uh, one third pi, one third piece of circle minus the triangle. The triangle is um, actually root three. This is root three times half divided by two. So it's also root three over four. Yes, root three over four. So this is the arc region. And finally, we put the arc region here. This will be our answer. But we need to sim simplify it. So let's simplify. So here, the top, if we open the, bra open the bracket, this will be 3 fourths root 3 plus 1 fourth root 3. So it's basically root 3 minus 1 third pi over 3 over 4 root 3. So it seems like we need to times root 3 on both sides. So the bottom becomes 9 over 4. The top becomes 3 minus root 3 over 3 pi. And finally, we make it become times 4 over 9. So become times 4 over 9. Um, so this becomes 4 over 3 minus 4 over 27 root 3 pi. So the answer will be E. Yeah, this question is a little bit harder, but you can see the key is to draw the graph and find out the arc and um, use the patterns we have learned previously. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next lecture.